Hello, and today I'm going to show you a way of um, pipelining the geometry that you have in Rhino into Grasshopper, and thus creating a way of interacting with your model way more quicker. And as well doing a certain, um, let's say, way of changing the geometry in it. So what we're basically gonna have, we have like a surface on the floor or something, and the surface will have some points on it, and those points, we will be putting a piece on there, like a rectangle or something. And this rectangle will be cut out from the surface. And so we have the surface with like small cutouts every, everywhere those things are, or additions to it. Okay, so the way we're gonna do is this. It's basically, we're going to create a surface first in uh, grass in Rhino. So let me just um, use uh, a surface PT command do four of those things, we have a surface like this, and now we're gonna use points on, and now we have like certain points of the curve. However, we want to have the, be the curves to be more complex, so we're building the curves maybe with like point count of, uh, point count of 10, and now we're having the surface, and to put the points on again, and we have a surface that is more um, divisible and changeable and usable um, for the purpose that we wanna use it. So yeah, so however you wanna have it, like this. Okay, doesn't really matter how it looks like, you can have it for yourself. Um, so we're going to use the geometry pipeline. Uh, oh yeah, and first of all, we're also going to create certain layers. So that puts us this just on the default layer, and then we're gonna have certain geometries that we're gonna put on, um, on different layers. So we're gonna change it to color here, for example, to this one and we're gonna change back to layer two. And for example, we have like a small box here maybe. And we just dupli duplicate this one quickly here and there. And we're gonna as well have the box, but from a different layer. And oh, let's actually double, so we remove that. And this different layer will be having a different color as well. Okay, nice. So we're going back to Grasper now. And um, the thing, the first thing we wanna do, so basically we wanna um, add the blue ones to the position layer two and remove the red ones and like put like cut holes in there basically. Um, so a way to do is this to put the geometry in, but the problem this, every time I wanna create a new one, I have to click it again. And so if I wanna double this one, this one will not get doubled uh, in the geometry pipeline. So this is very unuseful. Um, the way we're going to do is this basically, we're going to use geometry pipeline and we're having, um, we're, we're saying the layer, layer that we want, so this will be layer two, right? Yeah. And um, we have, so we double click on this, the layer, what is zero two? Yeah, layer space zero two. We click here and then we just put in, double click on this one. And as you see, it automatically select those. So if we duplicate this, you see it will show up on the, this here again. So the same thing we wanna do um, with um, uh, with the other one. We're gonna duplicate this here, change this to layer zero one, and have those here. So now, so now we have it all all nice and set up. And we actually can just uh, remove we can go to the default layer and just remove those two, so it will be looking even even cleaner to it as well. Um, where is my grasper here? So next thing I'm gonna do is um, we're gonna basically cut out a certain piece of that one, and we're also gonna reference our uh, mesh that we have in here at the beginning. I think it's only gonna be one mesh, so it's fine. We don't need to have to change the yard geometry all the time. Okay, and maybe also. I'll create a new layer, go on this layer, and we will have it like nice and clean in in uh, grass up everything. Okay, now we're gonna cut this out with uh, under intersect shape and solid difference, as well as shape and solid union. Very simple commands to it. And um, so basically we're gonna add those to the geometry. And uh, we actually also might give the geometry some thickness. So we're going to um, beat up edges. And now we have all the edges of our geometry here. 
and we're gonna extrude those to the uh, Z direction and into a negative amount. So we're going to have some depth like to the um, downwards basically. Or yeah, like this. And we're also gonna move this one downwards as well, the geometry itself. So it's gonna be following it. And now we have to be wrap, um, join those things together and as well flatten it so it will be one thing and out comes one um, closed wrap basically and we're gonna can go to under display preview message and high quality mesh so it looks a bit more um, the way it should look like so nice now we have our base thing to it and now we're gonna cut out um, our layer 2 and uh, we're gonna add our layer 2 I'm gonna cut cut out our layer uh, one solution here. So we're gonna simply just we have the wrap here and we're gonna use um, this one here to cut it out. So this will be our base p-wrap and this one will, will be the cutting ones. And as you see if you're gonna remove this one and we're gonna hide this one as well. This one will be like uh, this one is gone but um, so there's a certain uh, mistake to it. Let me actually just check out what it could be. Okay. No, no, okay, it works. It might need to have just some simple moving to it. Okay, nice. So now we have our um, things in here and they're cut out. Some of them are going through, the other one doesn't, like just like on the edge basically. And we're going to add those to the geometry so they will be like fully defined. And the way we're gonna do is just like simple, uh, like solid union or uh, how's it called? Uh, yeah, solid union. And we're gonna use the bread that we have and we're gonna shift click to the ones that you want to add. And we might need to flatten this as well, depending on how, what you, how a tree is built. And we're gonna hide this as well. And now we should be in the position, if we're gonna hide this one so it doesn't go double. Um, yeah, as you see, um, this, those were ones actually um, put on top of there and as well there's like a small left thing uh, for that. So the good thing of that is, uh, for example, if you want to um, change certain like things for that, um, for example, I want this more over here and then it automatically updates the entire geometry to it and ob um, uh, puts it together as well. Or maybe put one more over there and as well again, if you can, I'm just gonna remove it, you see it's gonna be nice and baked, um, not baked, but like Boolean union there every time you wanna use it. So it's a very useful tool to um, quickly uh, change your design depending on the things that you want it to be. So that that's very useful. Okay, I'm just gonna make this layer like this again. And um, obviously we can do this with the other one as well. So if you're gonna duplicate this one here maybe and change the position a bit more here to something that we wanted more. I'm just gonna maybe be happy with the design, whatever you wanted with. Um, so yeah, so there you have that. And the good thing with that is as well, like um, if you you can 3D print this very quick, uh, good because it's a closed B wrap. And for example, if you um, want to have some kind of like contours to it as well, like with contour shape, and then you just use a Construct point, command to it, the Z direction, and just a basic distance to it as well. Um, then you as well have, uh, if you wanna make this disappear, a very nice um, contoured model that will hopefully more or less works at least. I see like some some mistakes here that might be looking a little bit weird. Um, yeah, but all in all, definitely works for that. So yeah, thank you for watching, and um, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Thank you, bye-bye.